Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be week number three of the MPL, the Minor Pokemon League, and this is going to be a really interesting matchup. We are going to have a little bit of Weather Wars here. We do have a little bit of a Sun team, and uh, my opponent does have a Rain team with a Mega Swamper, no less, but we will be up against the Philadelphia Aegislash, and no pun intended, he has a very good team. He has a very scary team. I don't quite know how this matchup is going to go, but we do see the Klefki, Politoed, Zeraora, Pinsir, Vileplume, and Noivern. So no, no Mega Swamper. That is very, very interesting. So he does have the Politoed to kind of mess up with my Lilligant a little bit, but I don't think my Lilligant relies on Sun as much. This is a very, very interesting matchup. Okay. 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 What would I want to lead off with here? My Jellicent is not going to be as necessary. Jellicent was, is max defense bold, um, specifically to take an Earthquake from that Swampert. And no Keldeo as well, which is pretty um, understandable because of my Jellicent. But I want to think here. Part of me honestly wants to lead off with my Zygarde. I think Zygarde would be the best play here. So, right off the bat, I'm betting that the Noivern would be Scarfed. Um, in case of any uh, Lilligan shenanigans, I don't know. This is a very interesting situation here. But... I don't know, man. I don't know how my team matches up at all. And I didn't screenshot this team, so this is gonna be really unfortunate. I'm gonna take a second to do it as soon as I get the chance, but we do lead off with the Zygarde. We are banded, as most weeks, but we see the Zero Aura straight away. He could be Scarfed with Hidden Power Ice. That would be pretty darn unfortunate, but let me see. I'm going to take a screenshot of the bottom screen here just so we have his team. Okay. Man, what an interesting team. Okay, so he has to kind of respect the Scarf. I definitely have to respect the Hidden Power Ice. But would he go for it turn one? I mean, Extreme Speed against Zero Aura would be pretty huge. But at the same time... At the same time, I don't really have too good of a switch into this thing. Um, part of me really wants to go into Chinchino here. But let me see here. I kind of do want to go into Chinchino to eat up the Hidden Power Ice and then get off a Scarf knockoff. Extreme Speed flirts with a 2 at KO. I might just do that right now. I'm gonna see how real he is if he tries to plant. No, he just switches out. So, a thousand arrows would have been pretty darn free. So would an extreme speed have been. But that's interesting. That's good to know. So he does kind of respect Scarf a little bit. So this is very very interesting. And now I'm in a position where I feel like um, Tail Slap is reasonably free. He could bring in the. Clef key, which would be interesting. But honestly, I just kind of want a tail slap here. Against a pincer. Yeah, I don't think he can oak. I mean, he can thread an oko with X scissor. But I also don't think he does that. I'm going to click tail slap here. We missed the tail slap. Okay. Goes for a Z move. Normalium Z. Could this be... What is this? It's probably something really bad. Z me first. So now he's at plus two speed. Yeah, okay. And this probably destroys me now. Especially since I didn't get any damage off on it. The fact that I didn't get any damage off means... Well, okay, so Torkoal can still reasonably deal with it. But the fact that I didn't get any damage off on it, if I gotten a Tail Slap off, then 
Zygarde revenges with with thousand air. With, I'm sorry, with uh, extreme speed, and that that would have been pincer right there. It would have been fine, but the fact that we miss is awful. It's genuinely awful. Um, he knows that I'm down to tail slap. He goes for the knockoff, which is totally fine. That's totally fine. We do hit the tail slap. So now he does have a very free X scissor, but now I can switch up moves, which is good for me. I honestly really want to go into... What would I want to go into here? I should honestly go into... I should honestly go into my Torkoal here. I would be interested if this pincer... No, I don't think this pincer switches out. It... Mm, I don't know, it honestly might. Goes for the return. We are decently... Yeah, we're, we're pretty defensive. So, part of me really wants to predict the, the, the Politoed hard and go for Sunny Day, but if nothing else, I think I'm safe from this Pinzo for now, and I just click Stealth Rock right now. Does he even have removal? I don't think it, well, he has the Clef Key. He has the Clef Key, to be fair. But yeah, I could have clicked Sunny Day. I 100% could have clicked Sunny Day. I didn't. I, I opted to just... Go for the Stealth Rocks. I don't think it'll be that big a deal in the longer run. But that's where we're at now. I don't think he can afford to try to hit me with a water move when my Jelsent is such an obvious switch in. But I don't know. I don't know what he would try to do here. Um, hmm. This is kind of tough. This is genuinely kind of tough. I feel like he doubles here. I feel like he has to double here. I'm going to make the very obvious play and go into... Mm, he could double into Zero Aura, which is a thing. That's the real thing, you know? What do I want to do? I honestly really want to click Sunny Day, but... No, I think no matter what, um... My Jelsin is going to be the better play in the longer run, even if this is a really obvious play right now. Um... My Jelsin doesn't have... Ooh, we avoid the Toxic. Okay, so I guess that's a little bit... A retribution for the mix, missing to uh, Tail Slap. Was it Toxic Slap? I'm, I'm out of it. I'm, I'm not in the best headspace right now, but I think we're fine for now. I think we're fine for now. Because what I really want to do is go into my Chinchino. I really want to go into my Chinchino. This is such a difficult matchup for me. I'm going to... Hmm. I have no idea what I want to do right now. I think I go into my... He doesn't switch out because I switched out first. I, he might toxic me again? I don't know. If he does toxic, yeah, okay. That's solid because... Uh, I get a pretty darn free knockoff right now. 
but I could also U-turn. He could expect the bullet seed right now, which would be interesting. I'm going to click knockoff here. Even a knockoff on Politoed is pretty decent. I think I think even that's pretty decent. This is such an interesting matchup, man. I don't want to make my plays too obvious, but at the same time, we do get a free knockoff on something. Oh, this is going to not be terribly relevant. So it will be interesting to see what he goes into. It will be really interesting to see what he goes into. I wouldn't be surprised to see the Zero Aura come out here. Okay, we do see the Zero Aura. We do see the Zero Aura. And I feel like I would go into Torkoal here. My Chinchino still has a decent amount of usefulness. Getting one decent hit off on the Vile Plume and or the um, Volt Switch. Interesting, interesting. And or the uh, Politoed would be pretty useful. But it's a matter of actually getting to that point. Goes back into this thing. Well, if Volt Switch did that much, then we definitely don't take anything reasonably well. I feel like he has to respect my Jellison and click, try to click Toxic again. So I have to go into my Jinchino again. Just goes for the Scald. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Now, I know literally nothing about this Politoed yet. I know literally nothing about this Politoed yet. I honestly kind of want to go into Rabombi here. No, I really can't make the Rabombi play. Just simply because of Klefki. Simply because of Klefki. Now this Politoed could definitely have Rain Dance. If it does, that'd be super duper interesting, but I wouldn't mind it just wasting a turn to go for it. I think I click Lava Plume no matter what. I think I just click Lava Plume no matter what. Just withdraw so we'll get a free Sun Boosted Lava Plume. And yeah, it's not gonna be the biggest of damage against Noivern, but a potential burn and rocks damage no burn. Okay, that's fine. Let me think here. And I know Ivern is definitely in range of a bandit extreme speed, which is interesting. And I kind of honestly want to stay in. Hmm. No, I definitely need this Noivern for later against the Klefki. I need, I need this thing for the Klefki. 
Honestly, my most expendable member still seems to be my Jellicent right now. Could go for U-turn, yeah. I'm playing too predictably and he's taking advantage of it. But no matter what, it, it wouldn't have mattered because even if I did click Lava Plume, then... I mean, my only play would be to, to click Sunny Day. So, okay, I, this, this set didn't originally have Sunny Day, but Weedle Twin Needle actually suggested Sunny Day to me uh, to try to counteract this Politoed. And I, maybe I should just still be playing more aggressively to try to um, counter Politoed in general and try to make those aggressive Sunny Day plays, but I don't know. I feel like I'm failing Weedle Twin Needle, unfortunately. Um, but for right now, I think he. I think he's trying to figure out what Zero Aura does against me, and that's something that I should know as well. Zero Aura goes into this thing. That's interesting. So this might be unusual, but I kind of want to just click Will-O-Wisp here. Because it's, it's only attacking move is probably going to be... Goes for the light screen. Oof. It's only attacking move is probably going to be play rough. And if I'm ever in a situation where my Zygarde is in against this thing, uh, it can't Thunder Wave me. And... And... Uh... I should be able to take a player off fine. But now I can switch out. I kind of want to aggressively switch into Zygarde. I might do that. We see a withdrawal there. And goes into the Politoed. I almost went into Torkoal. Like, dead ass. But, regardless... I think it's in range of Zygarde Outrage, actually. Politoed. But no, I can't. Realistically, I can't do that. Politoed, we have to at least give you max HP. Actually, very close to range of Thousand Arrows. But I don't think that's a play that I can reasonably make. I don't think that's a play that I could reasonably make. Although, one more round of Stealth Rocks damage, and he's pretty much in range of a thousand arrows. Okay. That's fine. Just clicks Ice Beam. A Scald would be relatively free here. I feel like I just click Scald. And then I move on from there. Um... Again, this Politoed, it's just going to be a matter of putting this Politoed into range. I, okay, maybe expected me to double, but uh, like I said, I'm just looking for damage onto this Politoed. This could be a max defense Politoed, which would be unfortunate, but please get a burn. A burn would be neat. Nope, okay. I'm just going to Scald again. Goes for the Toxic. Okay. This is going to be rough. I... We have gone for three Scalds and not a burn yet, so that's fair enough. This is such a stressful matchup, man. I kind of just want to go... Well, again, I, I kind of want to go for it again because I do want to... Oof, really expect me to, to make a some sort of a switch here, but... I really just want to get damage off on this Politoed, and if it does have a Citrus Berry, I want to pop the Citrus Berry as soon as possible. I want to get a burn off on this thing. I want to do something to get this thing, and, and, and stall out the 
stall out the light screen as well. It would be nuts if um, if this thing was actually if this thing was actually just out of range of citrus. Maybe I should just click Giga Drain now. He's gonna stain an ice beam. And this Giga Drain was actually for the Swampert, but obviously there's no Swampert here. I will be really interested to see. Do we see a Citrus? We don't see a Citrus. I still have no idea what this item can be. Maybe Wakan for like Zip Strika? But at this point, I don't even know. At this point, I feel like I have to switch into my Torkoal right now. Um, I feel like I've done more than enough uh, damage to this thing where it's set up enough for my Zygarde late game. And... Yeah, I, I, I really want to go into my Zygarde right now, but... Um, but that was another consideration. I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't really let him get off uh, a free ice beam if he makes that prediction. But his his switching has been Noivern so far uh, into my Torkoal under Sun. If he tries to do that again, then um, he is risking a burn and more Stealth Rocks damage onto this thing. Goes for the Scald. Can we please just burn this dang Politoed? I've literally gone for so many 30% burn moves, and I haven't gotten a single one yet. Can this be the one? Nope. I, we, it's, we, I've, I feel like I had to have gone for six at least by now, right? Uh, I don't know. Like I said, this entire matchup is stressful. I honestly want to go into... My... Does withdraw. He goes out into the Noivern, and I go into my Lilligant. So, now I have to remind myself of my Lilligant's speed. Uh, I know I made myself 147 speed. Okay, so 147. If if I remember correctly, I, I made this so double speed outspeeds Scarf something. At double speed, it's 294. Oh, I made this outspeed Mega Swampert um, in rain, but does it also outspeed Noivern? Scarf Noivern. Let me, let me see. Noivern. Noivern at level 50. I feel like I didn't do that. Calc 147 times 2 divided by 1.5. I actually do. I do outspeed Noivern. So this thing is Frisk. It's not Infiltrator, which is huge. Because what I want to do is I want to take this turn and set up a sub. He does withdraw. He does withdraw. I do have HP Ice, but... Right now I can just go for a sub. And honestly, I just want to quiver dance. Vile plume. Sludge bomb. Against Lilligant. If I get to plus one special defense, special, excuse me, special defense, then, man, I still don't take sludge bombs well at all. But it might still be worth it to click Quiver Dance. No, I think I just take hidden power ice damage for now, and then switch out on the following turn when he breaks my sub. I wish I had in power fire, but he just has to click sludge bomb just to break my sub. And now I dip out. 
Now I definitely definitely just dip out. But I feel like I honestly feel like I'm in a better position than he is. Um, and I should judge that damage seat feels to me like he's really specially defensive. I feel like he's max special defense. I feel like that's what that means. But if that's the case, then that means that he can't be max physical defense, which could open the door for my Zygarde in the later game. Um, I honestly kind of really want to aggressively switch into my Zygarde. I feel like that's what I should do. If he calls that and goes for Hidden Power Ice, then... He genuinely just beats me. I could also go into... My gel scent. And then potentially just try to double into my Torkoal. My Torkoal being this low might actually lose me the game against this Vileplume because I don't really have a very good answer for Vileplume anymore. Now that my Chinchino is gone. This Vileplume actually might win him the game. Honestly, like genuinely. How does Sludge Bomb just do that much to Lilligant, though? Just does so much damage. Completely uninvested, that's wild. I don't think I have anything to answer this Vile Plume with. Okay, so actually the best thing that I could do is get one hit off with Robombi. And then it switches out, goes into this thing to give it up. Why, I wonder. Also, yeah, Weedle, Weedle Twin Needle was telling me quite a bit to watch out for chlorophyll, um, chlorophyll vial plume. If I do give it Chlorophyll Vileplume, then uh, I'd be in a pretty bad position, in all honesty. Oh, I think he did that assuming that I would try to make an aggressive double into my... Um, into my Lilligan again. I am very unfortunately HP Ice instead of HP Fire. Wow. That's really bad. It's item this whole time was chest oh, Barry. This is bad. There's no way around this is bad. I don't really have a choice. I have to click Recover here. Maybe I click Will-O-Wisp. I'm gonna click Will-O-Wisp and then Recover. I think I have at least one turn to, to try and Recover. <sighs> I 
this is bad. I thought we were in such a good position too. If I'd played a little bit more aggressively, then I could have possibly done enough damage to this Politoed. We've gone from from being in a very, very decent position to now suddenly not being in a good position at all. I mean, we can't get it burns from 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 any uh, secondary effect attack, so we have to go for this. But yeah, I have to just click recover. And then I can think about switching out and try to play some head games there. But... I don't like the position that I'm in. I don't like the position that I'm in. It could possibly... It could possibly be time for Rabombi to come in. You know what? It's as good a time as any. It's as good a time as any. Though... Hmm... I swear, if he burns me... Okay, he doesn't burn me. Klefki's such an obvious switch in, though. I feel like I can't give up this Rabombi. I have to... No, I feel like I misplayed. I feel like I misplayed. I can't risk the Robombi because I needed to get a big bug buzz onto the Vile Plume at the very least. And just so that my Zygarde is in position later. I swear, if he goes in a vile plume, then I'll be pretty upset. But realistically, he goes in a vile plume every time. I could look Giga Drain, but it's probably bad play. It's probably a really bad play. Interesting. I feel like I win this 1v1 eventually. Or the, just this general, like, exchange eventually. He could decide to switch now? I wouldn't be surprised about an, an aggressive switch into Zero Aura. I wouldn't be surprised about a switch into Klefki, for, if anything. Um, he could just rest up right now. I don't see how he stays in, though. I'm gonna click Willow it. Mm, should I, though? What would he switch into? He could switch into the Vile Plume. Vile Plume would be an easy switch for him. Does what draws. We see the Vile Plume. I believe that's a Vile Plume. Oof. 
Okay. Okay. That's fine. I feel like I'm still going to be able to recover up on something else later on, so maybe if I just give up a Giga Drain for a will o -Wisp right now, that'd be an okay exchange for the long run. I need to get something onto this Vile Plume to start doing some type of damage. I wish for a Sludge Bomb, so expect me to switch. Um, but the Toxic at this point is going to do quite a bit of damage to me. But at this point, this feels like the way that we got to play this. Uh, let me think this through. Let me think this through. I feel like this is where I finally just give up my my Torkoal. This has to be where I just give up my Torkoal. At this point, I can give up Torkoal, go into go into Rabombi, get a big bug buzz off, and then this thing might be low enough where where um, I can start doing some big boy damage with either Zygarde or Lilligant or both. I'm probably going to need both, realistically. I don't really have much of a choice other than to click um, Bug Buzz, but I'd be in such a better position if I just brought HP Fire instead of HP Ice. I was afraid of the Noivern, man. I was thinking I, I need to counter the Noivern, and especially if it's a Scarf Noivern, but uh, it was just bad. It was just bad. I was. I couldn't find the space on Lilligan, and I really needed HP Fire uh, to be able to hit the... It goes into this thing. I feel like at this... Now he's just giving this thing up. Because this thing will get rain up, but uh, it goes down, I believe, to a bug, but you have to. But man, he was giving me a very free quiver dance. A, a remarkably free quiver dance. But now he sees that I'm life orbed. He can go into Zero Aura. If he does go into Zero Aura, then, well, if anything, he could go into Klefki and set up screens. I feel like I no longer have an answer for Klefki. I mean, Zygarde can. Zygarde can. What's Clefie's base speed? Isn't it really... Isn't it, like, 70, but it's only, like, viable because of, uh, Prankster? Isn't that the thing? Base 75 speed. Okay, fair enough. I don't like this position at all, man. I just don't like this at all. does go into this. I can use the collect key to um, to try and recover up. If he brings in the 
Zero Aura, then that would kind of open the door for my... for my Zygarde. If my Rabombi is ever in a position, I can Quiver Dance up at some point. Goes for a play rough. At this point, I don't even care if you go for Light Screen, man. Okay, so Weedle Tweenita also did at some point um, suggest to me to bring to bring um, to bring uh, uh, what's Scar um, Specs Trick Specs to try to trick the Klepki. I very unfortunately did not do that, but uh, it would have been funny. It would have been fun. So, I don't want to be that guy, but I feel like I have to point out that uh, we are very nearly approaching timer, and I'm putting in my moves re reasonably quickly, but uh, I hope it doesn't get to that point. I don't, I don't really know. At this point, I don't think he can really afford to click Giga Drain. Because my Rabombi is such an easy switch in. Oh, Giga Drain probably KOs me, actually. Uninvested does 30 to 36 HP, and I'm currently at. 39 HP. I believe I've revealed my entire moveset on this thing. I have. Uh, and I'm, am I faster than this thing? I am. Um, I kind of just want to click recover. I'm gonna I'm gonna test the waters and see what he would go for. If he's bold enough to go for a Giga Drain, then I don't know. That's off to him. He does in fact go for the Giga Drain. I honestly feel like this Vileplume wins in this match. I honestly feel like this Vileplume wins in this match. I really want to click the Zygarde button right now. Do I think he has HP Ice? He could have Strength Sap. He could have Strength Sap. But then that would allow me to bring Jelson back in and try to reset the Toxic. And I'm faster, so I'd be able to, I'd be able to recover up. I really want to click the Zygarde button, man. Giga Drain does significantly more than than Sludge Bomb, but I feel like I feel like he's the type of guy that now that I've now that I've scouted out for the Giga Drain, he's gonna assume that I would go into my Lilligant or my Rabombi here, and I think he would go for the Giga Drain or for the Sludge Bomb. I 100% think he goes for Sludge Bomb here. This is such a long match. Goes for the Giga Drain. Interesting. So, 
now we really get to see what kind of vile plume this is. He brought me down from 130 to 75. One thirty to seventy-five looks exactly the right amount of damage for completely uninvested. That's what forty-five damage. It honestly makes me want to double into my Lilligant. I feel bad because I feel like I should be playing more aggressively. Strain Sap, interesting. But at the same time, I really, really think that I'm close to figuring out how to beat this, but I just need to put this all together and figure this out. I feel like I just need more time to figure out how to like actually beat this. And it sucks because not even a quiver dance is gonna let me take. It's not even gonna let me take a sludge bomb. Wait, no, it does actually. But I don't do anything to it in return. Is the thing. See, okay, I almost, I very nearly, um, dro didn't have substitute in the beginning and had synthesis. If I had the synthesis, I might actually be able to do- well, no, I wouldn't. I don't think I would, actually. I could Quiver Dance right now. Oh, he also has Light Screen up. He definitely also has Light Screen up. Okay. The fact- oh, yeah. The fact that he also has Light Screen up signals to me that I should go back into Jellicent and recover up again. I, I honestly, I honestly got did not expect Vileplume to be this much of a pain in the ass. Hundred percent. But I don't know what to do. I, I really should not have given up my Chinchino that, that uh, blatantly. But I honestly don't know what to do against this Vileplume. The only way to beat this Vileplume is to outlast it. And I don't want to play for timer, but, uh... Wait, I... Okay, I don't remember Giga Drain doing that much the first time. Maybe I'm just completely misremembering this, but I really don't remember doing that much. I feel like my last ditch effort has to be to attempt to take a Giga Drain, go to Rabombi, get a bunch of damage off, and then that would open the door. Well, no, he still has the dang light screen up. This might be the last turn of light screen. This might actually be the last turn of light screen. I feel like he's too smart not to go for Sludge Bomb right now. He does go for Giga Drain. Yes, okay. I, the, the calcs were absolutely right. He might have four, four into... Uh, he might have four into HP. Or four into special attack because uh, that did one more HP than I would have I guessed that it would have done. But I have to click Bug Buzz. And this Bug Buzz damage... I should have checked the bottom screen again for light screen. I guess I have just have to see goes does withdraw. So 
So I'm gonna take myself out, which is actually probably for the best because now my Zygarde can come in. My Zygarde can come in and click Thousand Arrows. And, uh, that's going to put me in the best position. Still not a great position, but it's the best position I can be in. It goes for the reflect. That's not going to matter uh, against this cleft key, but it is going to matter. Uh, for how well I match up against the vile plume. That's a crit. Didn't matter. Actually, it might have. <laughs> I guess it might have. No, I don't think it did. You would have to be max defense for that to matter. No, not even max defense. Even max defense, it does minimum 50%, and it was well below half. This is interesting. I feel like he has to be choice scarfed. Is a thing. I guess we I guess here's where we see whether or not he's choice scarfed. He's calm mind. This is where he wins. I think this is where he beats me. Because I don't think I have enough damage with Reflect. If he didn't have Reflect, then I could probably get... A, he, he probably... Will-O-Wisp might actually be the better play. Goes for a Thunderbolt. That's unfortunate. Zero Aura. Within Power Ice. Against Lilligan. Oh, we take a Hidden Power Ice, even at plus one. We can Quiver Dance up right now. We should be able to Quiver Dance up right now. Is that a... Mm. He was probably... Even max special attack is, is a roll. Unless he was modest. If he's modest, then yay. 100%. Uh, he always beat me with that. Uh, an extreme sweet crit would take him out, but that would have to be the only play. Yeah, there's the hidden power. That's going to be the match. I don't know. I tried. I I actually did try, um, but that bio plume was so difficult to deal with. I I just didn't have good answers for it, man. I thought I really thought that I could break through. I thought I had a chance, but it's going to be a rough one. That one's an actual rough one, but I think I put myself in the best position to win. Um, I think definitely if I had stuck with Synthesis over 
substitute, I would have won that one, but honestly, that Klefki was the one thing that really did scare me. I thought that I had to get a substitute up uh, in order to not get Thunder Waved, and I guess that's what did it, but either way, that's going to be week three. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more uh, League stuff. We'll be back with another UBL match uh, as well as other stuff this weekend, but man, other than that, I don't even know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, and I'll be once again, out.